Now, as gas stations across the triangle continue to run out of fuel, we want you to know that you do have options. For instance, public transportation. CBS 17's Nick Sturdivant is live in downtown Durham. And Nick, this is the best time to take advantage of this public transportation. Yeah, absolutely, Angela. I spoke with the CEO of Go Triangle. He told me that the buses right now, they're good on gas. But more importantly, some of their services are free right now, but they hope to move away from using fuel. While many wait for an open gas pump, Isaac Hall, if you're riding the bus, you don't have to worry about the gas shortage, says he would rather wait for another option, the bus. I can get on the bus and go anywhere in Durham. My car is sitting at home right now. Why is it the best option at this point? Well, it might be the only option for some people if they don't have gas. Charles Latuka, the CEO of Go Triangle, is hoping more people will do the same. It's getting tougher out there. I hope this situation does resolve soon. But I think it's important that people know that there are alternatives to driving. Go Triangle has stops across the Triangle area with partners in Durham, Raleigh, and Cary. You can plug in your location and your destination, and it'll show you, you know, where to catch the bus. We have gas. Uh, you know, obviously, we're going to be hard pressed in our supplies as time moves on, but we we're running. But Latuka says the plan is to eventually shift away from using fuel. Out of the more than 70 buses, two are electric. Meanwhile, Go Rally told us out of 87 buses, they use 40 compressed natural gas buses, saving an estimated $50,000 in fuel monthly. There are options out there for folks, and we're working on new options too. So we're working on, you know, bus rapid transit, uh, commuter rail. Uh, we're growing the transit system. And if you do plan to use the bus, there is a trip planner, for instance, on Go Triangle's website. For more information when it comes to routes and it comes to schedules, head over to our website, CBS17.com. Live in Durham this evening, Nick Sertorin, CBS17 News. All right, Nick, thank you. The pipeline shutdown is also putting airlines at risk.